Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all over the world. Dobson 777A here, or Alpha. See, I messed it up. I still haven't got that right yet. Wow, we had a uh, we had a slaughter today. Let me look over here at the price currently. I gotta refresh it. So gold is at eighteen fifty. I'm sorry, eighteen fifteen and eighty three cents. It's down forty two dollars. Silver is down uh, from. It's at twenty seven dollars and eleven cents, and it's down uh, 0 0.57. So uh, silver's down 2.06 and gold is uh, 2.26 negative. I, curiously, when I looked at uh, <clears throat> the ETFs, the ETFs did not do nearly as bad. GLD was down 1.72 and SLV was down 1.54, but uh, platinum was down 1.9. <clears throat> you know what I did? I forgot my dang water again. Why do I do that? Anyways, uh, our ETF minor portfolio was down 1.96. Improved portfolio was down 1.6. And uh, my portfolio was down 0.93. So I, I did pretty well for uh, my minors. Uh, residential real estate was down 0.6. So it did uh, better than the physical metals today. Now there was one shining star in all of our minors and it was our old VNNHF, which is now BSXGF. It was up 3.51%. I didn't get a chance to go look at seeing if there was any uh, news on that, but I uh, thought that was interesting where everything else was dumping. That was positive. Uh, let's see. So silver liners first. I wish I could give you a star. There's probably a way to do it. I don't know how to do that. Let me see. Does it let me do something? Uh, nope. I could just pin your message. How's that? Uh, Greg Steinberg. Hey, Brick22. Hello. Charles McClendon and the Fed. Yeah, the Fed is the one that did this today. Tired of their lies and cobbling this broken system together with hopium. Silver liner. The physical prices didn't drop. Well, what you mean is the, um, I was telling you the spot price, but maybe you're talking about the purchase price, which includes all the premiums. So be careful. That's that's uh, just the profits that the uh, money changers are collecting. It looks like it worked. I was able to uh, pin it at the top. That was pretty cool, huh, Silver Liner? All right. So, you know, you bring up a good point. Let me go over here to... I don't know how I could look at the Delta, but I've got this uh, neat website that I go to. If I could, there it is. Let's look at uh, silver, since most people like to look at silver. So silver eagles, let me find a random year. Um, I don't know what the uh, silver price was the other day, but uh, the silver eagles are, if. Eh, at eh, 37 38 bucks right now like a 38 to 40 percent premium that's insane i can't believe it gold eagles let's see I'm trying to find the random year hold on here it is uh there's two thousand dollars and about a 10 percent premium let's look at platinum real quick Platinum, American Eagle, where's the random year? There it is. All right, so Platinum American Eagle is around 1,333 to 1,400 bucks. So that's a 17 to 24% premium. That gives you a ballpark for those things. Lumber prices. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. You know, I guess I could look at an ETF for lumber prices. I'll have to go back and see if I can find something for an ETF. Like I said, residential real estate was uh, 
the rental residential real estate was hardly affected today. So we'll see. So I want you to know, I've had my Bible here. I've been working and working and working on that prayer. And I think I've got it now where it's ready. But uh, this other news kind of preempts it right now. I've been uh, really working on a powerful, powerful prayer. And I've uh, worked, tried it with a few people and they really like it. It's prayer protection and deliverance. But I had to back up and do like a, a prelude to the whole thing. Yeah, the, you know, the dealers kind of protect themselves with those premiums, but you also got to remember, this isn't just like raw silver that came out of the ground. It's, it's manufactured. If you got one of those uh, good delivery bars, they don't have the same premiums because it's just an ingot. You know, they just pour the thing in there, they weigh it and they stamp it with the weight. That's, that's all they do. But if you think about all the things they got to do with the uh, coins, the eagles and stuff, there's a lot of quality control and everything else, and it costs a lot of money. So a lot of that is built into there. And it's kind of like dealers with vehicles do the same thing, right? When, right, by the way, have you noticed the car lots are freaking empty? Oh my God, it's unbelievable. I was driving down the road to Sam's Club the other day, and uh, there's this one car dealership, which is primarily used vehicles at this place. And I noticed the lot was dang near empty. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. So uh, I just find it uh, interesting when things like this happen. Uh, man, I've been, are you guys feeling tired at all? Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you this prayer, I think you're going to like it. Um, today, what I was doing was, um, I've, I've had this prayer for a while, but I decided to back it up with scripture. So I took each of the key elements and I pulled the scripture out and stuck it in there. So we're going to uh, discuss that this is all biblical. And the prayer I had been using had actually an error in it. And this is a compilation of several different prayers that I've put together. And uh, I thought that was interesting that I found that today. So <clears throat> anyways, I'm, I'm trying to really do a good job on this because I think, I think uh, surprisingly, and by the way, I've been watching a lot of videos about uh, demons being cast out. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube, which is quite interesting. By the way, I was curious if any of you have had this experience twice in the last, say, week or so. I've had this, um, and I used to do some work in, uh, let, let me back up and explain, give you a little background what I think is happening. But I used to do um, <clears throat> some radiation effects testing on electrical components because we were building things for satellites. And uh, one of the things was like called single event upset, where you're taking memory devices and you were uh, shooting it with uh, certain types of radiation. Um, and it was uh, to see if the memory was stable. Well, to me, that's what it feels like is my memory got zapped with something. And the first time it happened was, and I can't remember where I was, but I was coming out of a store or something. And all of a sudden it was like, I couldn't remember where I parked. It was really weird. It was like, um, it was like the the map in my head had disappeared. And so the same thing happened today. I was driving to the wing place, which I've gone hundreds of times, and the same thing happened as I was as I was driving. I was getting to a point where I knew it seemed like I was supposed to turn this way or that, and I was trying to navigate in my head the map and the map just wasn't there so there's some things going on with our magnetic field and i'm beginning to wonder if some things are coming down through that are causing some of this but man i tell you that's very disconcerting when all of a sudden you're like i mean i've always had an amazing sense of direction i'm telling you amazing um, i had people drive me for like an hour through all these back roads and everything to get to this one family get together and I'd only been there once. And the next time we had to go there was like six months later. And 
uh, brother-in-law and I decided to go golfing. And I said, yeah, yeah, I think I can find it. Well, people were astonished that I was able to do that. So I'm just saying I have like an innate, uh, I don't know, three-dimensional mind of understanding directions and magnetic compass and everything. And if you ever live in North Georgia, I mean, roads are not like north, south, east, and west. They go around, you know, lakes, they go around mountains, all this kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, it was, uh, it was quite interesting that this has happened twice here recently. Hope I'm not having some damn stroke or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Murder's going way up, man, Atlanta. We got like one of these, uh, really wealthy areas, Buckhead. They're actually talking about succeeding from Atlanta because they're freaking gone nuts over there. The police and everything aren't even chasing people anymore. It's gone crazy. Um, I know the, uh, the heat actually, we were 61 degrees this morning, so it wasn't really that bad. Uh, it was very nice all day long. Uh, I really need to get out and split some wood tomorrow. I've got just, you know, my little car that I've got is filled up with some rounds. I got to get my splitter out and get that done. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, Lawrence, you are correct about the unemployment's expiring. Unemployment benefits are expiring. And uh, we also talked about the fact that uh, if they do not, uh, if they do not extend the uh, CDC, what's it called, uh, where you, they can't evict, eviction moratorium, uh, that's going to be a problem. Um, so you're going to have, and it'll take like six months, whatever, for a lot of this stuff uh, with banks and everything to go through short sales, foreclosures, that'll all start. But uh, at least uh, rental property owners will start the process with the uh, magistrate courts and everything. So do you believe the government can control the weather? So, you know, there's, there's things that we've done uh, before. What is it? Silver nitrate. That's one of the things that they've done to try to make it rain. But I think you're you're talking about uh, um, I forget what that thing. People want to blame this one thing that we've got that uh, is kind of messes with the ionosphere and everything. I can't remember what the name harp. I think that might be the name of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It's probably kind of classified, so I can't I can't answer that. It it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't have some amount of control, but I don't know how much. Yeah, the uh, the droughts are unbelievably bad. I saw my son sent me a uh, temperature map of California, and the coastline was the only place that was actually reasonable, and it's because the ocean there is uh, cooler. But, man, you just go 30 miles, it was like 140 degrees or something from the coast. It's ridiculous. So there's some terrible temperatures out there right now. By the way, if you guys, uh, I don't know how many of y'all watch Suspicious Observers. He just put together a video that was released a couple hours ago. So right now it's uh, 8.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, June 16th. And I wouldn't know what day of the, what date it was, except for it's on my computer here because I'm retired. But anyways, he was laying out the disasters that are coming upon us, you know, over the next, uh, say, 10 to 20 years. And I would, uh, I would, I don't know how he could, you know, the problem with some of this is these are cycles that are like every 6,000 years. And, you know, so when you're trying to get it down to a particular decade that something's going to happen, that's a little iffy, but that's what he's trying to do. But it's probably good for his numbers because people are going to be following very closely for the next uh, decade. So who knows? <laughs> West suffers from drought more under Democrats. I don't know. It could be. Yeah, there was an interesting conversation. I was have somebody, he was saying they were flushing uh, Democrats out of these uh, big cities. But truthfully, I think uh, they're intentionally doing it because of some of what's coming. So they, they want to get people. But truthfully, you really need to flush everybody out of Florida and everything and more towards the uh, middle of the country. But I don't think we have infrastructure or anything uh, for that to happen. So most people are just moving, you know, to Texas and Florida and 
Georgia and everything else, trying to screw our voting up. Yeah, the Basel rules, I don't know. I, I've been watching pros and cons about this whole thing, and I'm not uh, still not seeing how that's going to necessarily help gold, silver, and everything else. So we'll see. Penny Pension Preppers in the house. Brad and Ann Akuma, when you first wrote that, I thought you were saying donuts are bad lately. Then I had to read it more carefully. Droughts are bad. You know, I went and got my eyes checked. Eh, he says I got some cataracts forming, but, you know, I just turned 61 this year. And he says, you don't have them bad. It's kind of normal as you get older. But I've noticed, especially my left eye, it's kind of screwed up. So I may have to get something done with that soon. I think they just uh, punch them with lasers or something now. I don't know. Any of you guys uh, had cataracts yet? It's kind of a sucky thing. All right, so let's go through. Uh, I'm going to pick out a couple of our, oh, my uh, my favorite, um, what was that thing called? AMMPF. Uh, that took a pretty good dump today. So it was down 8.28%. Um, CXBMF was down 3.79. Now, these are micros, so guess what? They get hurt the most when something goes down, but they come roaring back, you know, twice as fast also. Uh, those were kind of the worst ones. That's why you only hold a little dabble, you do you, the micros. Who is this one here? Oh, yeah, it's the same one. Okay. Yeah, Calibre Mining got toasted pretty good. Let's see. Hey, Uncle Dob, do you have a crucible? Would you consider having one for barter if, if you don't? You know, there was a guy advertising on Facebook here, and I was contemplating getting one because I thought that would be kind of a cool little hobby to make some knives and things like that. Uh, but it just was one more thing that I just look at how much time I have now, and it just doesn't seem like that much time. So I haven't, uh, I decided against it. They have these, uh, it's like propane ones that actually work pretty good. So Brad and Anna Kuma, miners held up decently today, but somebody was pointing out some additional change occurred in the miners after hours. So I'm sorry, not in miners, in the physical. So we may see the miners uh, dump off a little bit more in the morning. But uh, right now, I would uh, I would not get too excited. Um, you have to look at the rest of the market to see what's going on to see. Um, you know, where the money's flowing. Currency, I should say. The whole thing I'm thinking about is just so many things I'm trying to figure out. How can I do things with little to no power? Like having a basement, you know, being comfortable. By the way, I got another air conditioner that crapped out at one of my rental properties. It was the last one. It's like a 20-year-old air conditioner. I knew it was going to have to be done. It's actually a smaller air conditioner than the one I was replacing in uh, March. And I got such a steal on that. I was so happy. And I figured since this one was smaller that I would be able to, uh, you know, not have to fork out as much money, but they've had two price increases since March on these stupid air conditioners. So I got to go ahead and get it done because everything is just going up super fast right now.
oh my God, these idiots that haven't been paying their electric bills. Now I can understand if you don't have a job and everything else, but you know, they're going to nail you to the wall on this stuff. You've got to pay your bills. I have that in my lease that you're supposed to pay your electric bills. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now that uh, I, I was raising hell with my tenants when they were trying to blame COVID and there was nothing related to COVID. Dang, 35-year-old air conditioner. I never heard of one lasting that long. I mean, I've had refrigerators that lasted that long, but not... Uh, uh, it's amazing. No power equals no Dobbs. Ain't that the truth? Unless I can get my shortwave radio working again. The tube set will survive, but nothing else will survive. This is a family though, isn't it? Man, we get to have a good time talking to each other. And by the way, there is nobody blocked on any of this. And you notice everybody's just playing so nice now. We don't have the crazy folks coming in like they used to. Oh yeah, 1997 AC. Um, I gotta go look at when this house was built. This was original for this house. So I think it was like 2002. Oh, man, excuse me. The dog on things up in the attic, which is a pain in the butt, too. Uh, mine's free on, too, and that's the problem. I got a small leak, and by law, they're supposed to go in and uh, see if they can find the leak. If they can't find the leak, they can put more free on in. But if they actually sense a leak with their little detector things, uh, they're not allowed to put Freon in. So I had uh, the capacitor shorted out because, well, it was actually shorted externally by a roach got across the terminals, and so the compressor wasn't starting. So I went out there and cleared that, and uh, they, they said the Freon was actually just slightly low, but not terribly low. And so they went to check for a leak, and uh, they detected a leak. So they said, nope, we can't put any Freon in. But I know somebody else that will probably could do it for me if I need to stretch this out, but Man, I saw the uh, the deal about the cashier getting shot, but uh, sometimes uh, you don't get the whole story on that. But Edgewater Heating, come put an AC in my rental property, will you? I got another one dying. Guy's telling me like 3600 bucks for a two and a half ton electric heat pump. I need to get uh, four or five people living in this house. Got to have uh, some weapons in every window. Got to have shifts, you know, people staying up in shifts, protecting the gardens and everything else. This old man's not going to go down without a fight, I'll tell you that. Forty-six people. All right, so let's uh, let's see what the uh, precious metals are doing uh, after hours here. What did I do? I, I lost my, uh, I must have written over the top of it. All right, so we're sitting at 18, 17 and 11 cents for uh, gold, and we're sitting at 27.20 for uh, silver. So silver is down 1.75 and gold is down 2.19. I just realized I never even ate dinner. You know, I, I didn't eat breakfast and I went out to lunch with my friends, but uh, doggone it, I hadn't even eaten dinner. I was wondering why my stomach is growling. It's kind of too late to eat a big dinner, so I'll probably just eat a bowl of cereal. More dogs. Yeah, more dog food then. Guess I can start eating chickens. Oh, all right. So I went to Sam's Club this week. I think I told you a story. I was heading to Sam's Club, but I didn't tell the story. And I just wanted to see what the meat selection was. I actually found some chicken wings. Remember, I was telling you there's a shortage everywhere, but I was able to get, you know, one of those big family packs and it was only $2 a pound. I mean, they're the big, big wings too. And when I went to my wing place today, they said, yeah, we got wings. And so I got their wing special that they had and they were these micro wings. I was like, oh my God, did they screw me on this? 
I should have, uh, I should have <laughs> said, show me what the wings look like. I had no idea they were going to be like Cornish hen wings. That's what it was like. It was terrible. So I'm going to be eating hamburgers or something for a while. What did I get for, oh, I just told the story. I got wings. They have this thing where you get a salad, uh, you get wings, and you get either fries or chips or tater tots. And I always get the chips because they're the homemade chips, you know, the thicker ones. Super nice. And they give you some celery and you got the sauce and all that. So it's super good. But yeah, I, I do a honey nut Cheerios. I usually throw some pecans in there. And if I've got some blueberries or something, I put them in there too. So it's a nice... Uh, Nice thing to kind of, you don't want something super heavy before you go to sleep. Anyways. I wish I could show you this, uh, this prayer that I'm working on, but that I, I'm hoping I'll get it out tomorrow for you. It's not going to be super fancy. I'm not going to have a lot of videos playing in the back or pictures or anything. It's just going to be uh, talking you through the process. Yeah, I saw some of the steak prices. It was like uh, 9 to $12 a pound. <laughs> yeah. I've seen people, they, uh, well, you know, I'm going to tell you, when Lucky, you remember my beautiful white dog, when he was having his stomach problems, I was making him chicken and rice every day. I had to make his meals because his he could not tolerate anything. I don't know what happened. His stomach shut down. They could not do anything for him. What a royal pain in the butt. So I haven't done any pressure canning uh, in several months, and it's mostly because the, um, the gardens are just now producing. i got to put a couple more pictures. I've got an amazing amount of uh, yellow squash and zucchini, pickle or cucumbers, not pickles. Cucumbers are coming out. So I've got, uh, my chickens are hormone free. Uh, they're, they're not necessarily cage free, but they only live for two months. Uh, but I've, I give them the best food I can find. And those suckers, uh, I, I've been capturing some videos, but uh, I bet you mine are five pounds already. Uh, they've got about four weeks left maybe and by that time, they'll be the roosters will be ten pounds. The hens will be, you know, eight to nine pounds. Okay, cataract surgery. That's good to know. I don't know uh, when you can become a candidate for that. I got another problem too. Let me see if I can show you this. What's happening is this this part of my eyelids kind of coming. It's it's you see how that fold of skin's kind of getting down in the way. That's driving me crazy too, because I can tell a lot of times I can tell it's pushing my eyelid down. So I may have to, it's a cosmetic thing where they kind of cut that and pull that back up. But that's, that's driving me crazy. And it's mainly my left eye. I don't know why it's doing that, but again, just getting old. I think at some point that might become uh surgically necessary. I mean, I don't think this will take that long. It'll be super simple, but stuff that happens when you get older, it's just an aggravation. I was thinking about just getting some scotch tape and put it on there. It's kind of like, you know, when you try and stay awake, you put some toothpicks. <laughs> well, anyways, I just wanted to get out here. This uh, quick 30 minute video talk about the precious metals. The Fed kind of pulled a number today. They're saying they're going to have some uh, rate hikes, but not until 2023, which is kind of interesting that that would, you know, affect the precious metals. Seems like there's a little more than that. But you also realize that, uh, you know, Israel's not over there bombing everybody. There's, it looks less likely like a war. And so, 
the precious metals are kind of calming down. So there's a lot of factors involved in here. I think it was kind of interesting though, that I was kind of calling a top here and uh, we'll see how, you know, how far this goes down, if anything else brings it back up, but uh, it's kind of perfect timing on my part again. All right. Oh, okay. I'd like to know about any uh, natural method for cataract. I don't know how you do something that's inside your eye, how you get rid of it, but a lot of it, it's just uh, sun damage. Oh man, 50% of the eye. I don't know, man. When I, the guy was trying to uh, determine my prescription for the glasses, he's like, I know what your eye's supposed to be, but you can't read with it. I said, no, I can't. And so that's when he came over and he started looking very closely. He goes, oh yeah, you got cataracts. That's why it's not coming in focus like you'd like. It's just blocking things out. Actually, silver liner, you'll find out almost the women, almost all the women start getting better looking as you get older. All right, so let's uh, let's cut this off. So I hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.